72 to 67 that gives him five inches advantage in reach. So Daniel Maldonado a little bit bigger than is the champion Jose Gonzalez. Now the rules tonight. I think they may have a, an issue because th he's a very much a boxer puncher. Yes, he is. He won the California State featherweight title in February of last year in a third round TKO over uh, Ivan uh, called uh, Ruz, and uh, that fight was in uh, Sacramento, and he added the vacant IBA 26 pound title with a 12 round. Gentlemen, this is the Budweiser World Class Championship Boxing's featured bout of the evening. 12 rounds for the IBA Featherweight Championship. Presented by Crown Boxing Incorporated in association with Budweiser and CSI Sports. This bout is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Dr. Tony Alamo. Commissioners are Skip Avancino Jr., John Bailey, Joe W. Brown, and T.J. Day. The executive director is Keith Kaiser. This belt is also sanctioned by the IBA supervisor in attendance, Norm Longton. The physicians at ringside. The lead is Dr. Jeff Davidson, Dr. Rodney Corson, and Dr. Anthony Ruggeroli. Our timekeepers this evening at ringside, Ernie Howdigy and Mike Lachella. The three judges who will be scoring this championship bout are Carol Castellano, Bill Graham, and Dick Hout. And your referee in charge of the action is Jay Nady. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Orleans Hotel and Casino, right here in exciting Las Vegas, Nevada, it's time for the leather to fly. This is the main event. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBA Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 126 pounds. He entered the ring wearing silver trimmed in black. And he comes to us from East Los Angeles, California. His professional record, 14 victories, only two defeats, with six wins by knockout. Here is the current and defending IBA featherweight champion of the world, Jose the Terminator. his opponent fighting out of the blue corner 
He also weighed in at 126 pounds. He's wearing black trimmed in red, and he comes to us from Henderson, Kentucky. He has an outstanding professional record with 19 victories, 13 big wins by knockout, and only two defeats. Introducing the challenger, Danielle the Sandman Maldonado. Let's go to work. All right, we're Good luck. set to go with the final instructions of referee Jane Eddy. Daniel Maldonado, who told Alan and I that he's going to start real fast. Gonzalez originally said he'd start fast, but then when we talked to him later on, he said he was going to pace himself for the first three rounds. So contrasting styles might make for an interesting firework display early. We'll see if Maldonado tries to jump on the champion, Jose Gonzalez. One thing for sure, both of these men are in peak shape. You know, it's interesting. It's a pretty big ring here at the Orleans, but they won't need it because they will be in front of each other. I'm pretty sure. All right, here we go. In the black trunks, molded out of the challenger. Gonzalez in the the black. He's the champ. He's the guy who fights outside. Both of these men have good hand speed. Strategy, molded out of the first round. Uh, old friend 
and uh, we need to work a little harder, really right? We need to work a little harder. Once we, now let's try to push this man back with the jab, okay? Push him back with the jab, and let's get on that body, okay? You, you missed with a lot of right hands on top, right? Yep. Okay? If you get to him with the jab, step into him with the jab, and drop those body shots, you'll be close enough to land that right hand on top, okay? I want that hook back, okay? All right, beautiful job. during the course of that round. There were good straight right hands and pushing Gonzalez against the ropes and getting pressure on him there, ripping body shots and right hands of Maldonado, but Gonzalez fighting back off those ropes and then Gonzalez countering himself with a good left hook to the head and working the body, which he has not done as much of.
Where's my water? Three deep. Slow it down. Slow it down. Get it all back right now. Okay? And round number four, ring card girl going by. We're coming up to round number four. Gonzalez-Mayer won the first round and gave him all the Nato two and three, but it's a good action in this fight. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. And Maldonado doing some good work here. Ripping body shots. Couple of those strain maybe a little bit low. Now, good counter-punching off the off by Gonzalez, but I don't think enough to win this round. And for the most part, it was Maldonado's attack that I thought got the job done. All righty. Oh, 
Easy. Go. Give me that water. Now. Give me some deep breaths. Give me some deep breaths. Now. Hang on, sir. I'm just watching. If you get rattled, you hold the man. Hold him. Hold him. Walk him back to the ropes. Stay close to him. Smother him up. Because you know he wants to land that long right hand. Okay? Hold him, Danny. Okay? But now I'm going to tell you right now. Breathe deep for me. Let's get it all back. You're okay. You're in good shape. You're going to recover from this real nice. Okay? Now, this kid shot his wad trying to stop you. You understand? I want your hands up. Okay? by Joe Del Guy trying to give some confidence to Maldonado. It actually was a left uppercut. We thought it might be a right hand, but the, the left uppercut kind of created part of the problem. Then it will be, I believe, a, a right hand from, yeah, right uppercut by does the job. So, both power punches as we go to round six, and I'm gonna get even on
poquito no es nada. Ey, tienes que tirar, José, tienes que tirar golpes duros, José, golpes duros. Dame el agua. A ver. Ey, golpes duros, al gancho al hígado, no le has pegado el gancho al hígado. No se lo tiras, lo tiras por acá, tiras por acá. ¿Oíste? Y el jab, un jab, dos jabs y la derecha. Jab, jab y la derecha, ¿me entiendes? Ah, yo le pongo la vaselina. Ey, jab, jab, derecha, jab, derecha y el gancho al hígado. Come on, José. La estás dejando ahí. Se está ganando los últimos 10 segundos, eh.
for job. Now. Come on. Get it all back. Get it all back in that 20. Okay? Now you gotta work a little harder, son. This is a championship fight, son. You've been a lot of close rounds. The man knocked you down one round, okay? okay? When you got your opportunities, you gotta work a little harder. You're in better shape than him, son. You're getting a second win. Okay, now, I want you to keep pushing that, keep snapping that double jab, okay? Keep snapping that double jab and stay with him. Do not follow him, okay? I don't want you following him. I want you to stay in with him. Here is where Gonzalez was able to get the uppercut in because Maldonado had kind of leaned in. This is right toward the end of the round. Maldonado still finding a way to land that straight right hand in a very close round.
Cuando el vato te esté ahí recargado, levántalo como lo levanta, pero otra vez, otra vez. Tienes que sacar este ramo adelante. Al aire. Otra vez. Es uno, dos, es uno, dos. Se va a desesperar y levántalo para arriba. Give it to me. This is it, son. This is the championship of the world. You understand? Leave it in there. There is no tired. There is no hurt. You understand? Hands up and work. He laid on the ropes. He's done. He's finished. You got too much for you. Breathe deep.
the way CSI does, do I say goodnight after you show the packages? And do we comment on those packages? I'm catching Mr. Mino here right now. That's what I'm going to level with up. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Sheridan back here with Al Bernstein, and it's time to get the judges' rendition of this fight. It was a very close one on our score sheets. Let's get it official with Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of championship boxing, we go to the Budweiser scorecard. We have a split decision. <laughs> Judge Dick Houck scores this bout 116 to 111 for Gonzalez. Judge Bill Graham saw it. 116, 111 for Maldonado. And Judge Carol Castellano scores this bout. 114 to 113. All for the winner by split decision. And new IBA featherweight champion of the world, Daniel the Sandman Maldonado. That's exactly right. Some of those rounds were very, very close. And we had a tremendous night of boxing here on CSI. One of the best that we could possibly have. It's been quite a night of boxing. We want to thank our executive producers, Richard and Craig Neely, our producer, David Getz, our director, Lenny Stucker, and our coordinating producers, Jennifer Vaughn and Jeff Park, and a special kudos to our promoter, Frank Lucas, great job all the way around. Here's our championship fight as you see it on the way out. What a battle this was. And the judges were about the same way we were out in a lot of rounds. Just too close to call and professional judges 40% disagree and they disagree tonight. A knockdown, a big factor in the fight on some of the judges' scorecards. Carol Castellano had it 114-113 and that turned out to be the difference in the fight. For Al Bernstein and the entire staff at CSI Sports, I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan. Thanks for being with you, uh, with us. Good night, everybody. So long from Las Vegas.